Ooh. You think he's? I think he's found you. Ooh. No, maybe not. At the moment, uh, they're actually looking for people to perform to, so they're kind of constantly looking for people's attention. Um, and if they might find my face now, um, they'll start. They'll actually orientate their body. So if I was to, ooh, if I was to kind of move over here, it'll completely ignore me. <laughs> it's got facial recognition, so there's a computer hidden away, which is actually looking at. Uh, looking at the faces, um, uh, looking for faces basically. And then once it finds faces, it's trying to assess the, their attention levels or their interest in them. So it's trying out these kind of random performances and then depending on how much attention it gets from you, it starts to kind of associate a success with that performance. And then as it continues to perform, it continues to learn more and more about how to attract and uh, to entertain people. And, uh, and then what they start to do is start to learn and then they, rather than acting completely randomly, actually start to have some idea and start to refine their, their, their performances. Uh, and as well as that, they occasionally will then turn to each other and start to dance to each other and teach each other their best tricks. Now they're looking at us and, uh, and they should be able to see us. And what we're going to do now is we're going to take this image we're actually going to put that on a television screen as you walk into the space so before you actually see the work you're going to actually see what the four of them are observing and then you're going to come in and you're going to have some sense that you're being observed as well as you're observing it i could have made a complex armature that had a lot of freedom and started to look at the idea of performance with multiple limbs but it's actually quite interesting to leave something very simple and then to see how much complexity can come out of something very simple.